we're not listening to the people who are experts on the subjects, and that's the people who have their boots on the ground. Well, that's the situation right there. We're talking about the battle when it comes to the fentanyl crisis on our streets. And people of all backgrounds are now working together to tackle that crisis. Outreach providers saying it's going to take law enforcement and government working together now to really win this fight. And Jamie Seymour live with a look at how collaboration is working. I, it's, I guess it's getting everyone on the same page, Jamie. Yeah, Jeff, that's a big component of this is getting that communication across the board. And, you know, we've reported on so many different efforts, and this is just one of them to try to combat the fentanyl crisis. Earlier today, our Brandon Thompson got an exclusive look in the Unified Command Center, and one service provider tells me it's a step in the right direction. From local leaders with the power to make change to those doing direct outreach on the streets. Groups across the area do separate work to fight the fentanyl crisis, but now many of them are also working together. Bringing us together in a room so that we can say, hey, I have this, I have this capability, I'm just missing this piece, and I know you actually have that piece. Can we bring that together and make this work? This week, government leaders, law enforcement, and service providers came together to see how they can help each other. Providers like PDX Saints Love say that while they work daily with those in the throes of addiction, more can be done, especially between the state, city of Portland and Multnomah County, like creating an open referral process. Not all of us who are doing this work are contracted with the city. Executive Director Crystal Delahanty says that having open communication between the governments is needed, knowing where there are open shelter, detox and behavioral health beds, or what areas are sorely in need of outreach beyond just downtown, places like East County. Earlier today, Coin Six got a look at the Rapid Needs Assessment Task Force, matching law enforcement with those doing outreach. We call a hotline that we have where someone from um, a nonprofit is dispatched out here in a team, uh, hopefully to talk to that person. Delahanty says ultimately it'll take combined efforts like these to get a hold on this crisis. We are going to need collaboration. We are never going to get out of this unless we take every piece to the puzzle and bring it together. Now that 90 day unified fentanyl emergency that's between the state, city of Portland and Multnomah County, it's only about halfway through right now. But officials tell us even during this time frame, everything that's being done, it will continue long after those 90 days. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jamie Seymour, Queen Six News. Yeah, working together and having open lines of communication. And yet that's the very thing that's been lacking in the battle against homelessness, the city and county can't seem to get on the same page. So hopefully in this fentanyl drug crisis, they are working on the same page. Jamie, great update for us. Thank you.